Australians have long been identified as loving a beer and a barbie, but many of us are also not shy of cracking open a bottle of champers to celebrate. From the start of white settlement, champagne, or its later Australian version, sparkling white, has been popular. But you might be surprised to learn that Australia's own champagne expert is so admired by the French, they've given her a knighthood. John Taylor reports from Brisbane. You've got a pretty good job, but I think I'm coming a close second though, actually. <laughs> Her name is Bernadette O'Shea, and she's an internationally renowned champagne consultant from Brisbane. Well, can you smell that nose now, a little smell of Vegemite? Well, I've known Bernadette for quite some time now, and she's done a remarkable job, not just for champagne, but I think for uh, what Bernadette thinks is the best, and that is that uh, get people to share and, and, and enjoy the great things of life. From florist to a champagne connoisseur. It was in the 1970s that Bernadette O'Shea fell, and fell hard, for that bubbly drink from France. Taught myself about it, bought books and taught myself. I would buy one bottle each month, take me a month to save up, and then taught myself about it, and then finally won an award called the Vente de Champagne Award in 1984. It's a love that's endured, as shown by her home and her dog, who only responds to French. It's a belcon, many belcon. It is named after a grape, Mernier. That romance has also blossomed into many awards, including in 1990, a French knighthood. It was a very special moment, and it, it made me realise that my passion and my love and the work that I'd done was acknowledged and it was a very tender moment, actually, but very excitable too. I don't think there's anyone else in the world, quite frankly, um, who's got the same um, reputation throughout France as Bernadette. Paul Boothby is the Australian representative of the champagne maker Bollinger. He says French champagne companies greatly admire the woman from Brisbane. I think if you become a friend of Bernadette, you tend to go to places where other people don't as well. I know uh, that the uh, house that I represent, um, they uh, are not normally open for public visits, for instance. However, but when a, a friend of Bernadette goes, they're known as Bernadette's disciples. Welcome to you all. This is going to be a very good night. Bernadette O'Shea now makes her living from the drink, introducing and educating others to its wonders. From the start of White Settlement, Australia has always had a fondness for champagne. Even today, it's the ninth largest importer of French fizz. How do you get on with Australia's champagne, or more precisely, sparkling, sparkling wine makers? That's the word, the sparkling. Um, very well. I think that they realise that my work I do with champagne, with real champagne, um, just heightens, encourages people to drink a better quality wine, and their appreciation grows. And therefore, when they're not drinking the real thing, they will buy the Australian produced sparkling wines. The drink from a small region of France that could fit entirely within one large Australian cattle station continues to transform her life. A lavish award winning book she's written that was rejected here has now been embraced. It took me five years to write, and I loved it. It was rejected by um, all the publishers. People didn't think a book like that would sell. Um, and so, um, so I self-published. And now it's going to be republished in France? Yes, it is, which is very lovely. Uh, I was very lucky to win an award last year, the Gourmont World Awards, for the best book in the world for a French wine book. And um, so now a French publisher has, is publishing it in French, so it'll go through Europe now, which is wonderful. So if you like Pinot Noir, do you like Pinot Noir? Yes. So this is but no self-respecting story about wine can be complete without a tasting. And Bernadette O'Shea is more than happy to oblige. Do you always get excited? I get very you... excited every time I drink every... champagne. Yeah. Every time I drink champagne. Yeah. And some stories call for journalists and media crews to go that extra mile. It's not every day that we let the people behind the camera come on the shop, but why not today? Hey guys. <laughs> Sante. 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 It's got all these little bubbles. It's got wonderful texture. So it brings texture and mouthfeel to the mouth. It's very exciting. Just the very word itself, champagne, says celebration. And sometimes sleep. <laughs>